What's surprising about the people on the Schengen route, um, or Surrender Singh route, there's a lot of people that have gone to Europe in a way, a loophole to bring their partners to the UK. Um, that loophole is closing very, very soon. It's already started. Um, but a lot of people have managed to keep their families together because of it. Because basically what you do is you move to an EU com uh, country, um, resettle there, and then what you do is you become resident, get a family permit, and then transfer to the UK and move to the UK. Uh, a lot of people have done it. Um, but what I've been finding recently is a lot of people haven't moved on. What I mean is, people like myself have no interest in going to the UK. Uh, what's happened is they've come to places like here, where they've got sunshine, they can find work, they've realised that there's more to life than money because what you have is you can create a sustainable income in an environment that is more family friendly more happy um, but what do, what do I mean for example the schools taking a video camera to school and videoing the kids playing and stuff you can do that in Spain um, UK, they're paranoid. You do you, you, that, to the point that even people taking people uh, cameras to do photography in parks and stuff are paranoid that they're going to be branded a paedophile or something. Even though in open spaces, here's a bit of information: public spaces legally, you're allowed to take photos or videos. It's not illegal. It doesn't matter what any policeman tells you. All they're doing is making their life easier for themselves. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is that Spain doesn't really have that nonsense. It's not constantly trying to find a victim in crime and everything. It, it, most of the stuff, they just don't care. Um, yes, there's a lot more corruption here on the surface. I mean, the UK is corrupt as it comes. The difference is, we, with the UK, you find that they do it on expenses scandals and stuff like that, and then they go, oh, I'm ever so sorry, but I've stepped out at the next election so I can keep my pension. They're not fired. But they do that, be it the Euro MPs, be it the UK MPs, they're all the same, because normally they are the same. And then they're normally dropped into a nice job with the buddies, the, the boys will find them a job. The same with all the lobbying. It's, a, it's all corruption, but my main point is that life in Spain is pretty good. Life in Spain, Portugal, Germany, France, a lot of people have found happiness in new lives. They found countries that are more welcoming than they find the UK these days. And I, I think that says a lot in itself. If people could be happier being miles away from their own home countries, then there's something wrong with the home country. Here in Spain, there's a lot of people that are even, well, A, the state, but there's also a lot of people that are actually coming here and not looking to go back to the UK. A lot of people that were on the Schengen route have simply stayed. Um, but a lot of people are simply looking at living here anyway. Because it does offer a nice way of life. And I know, yes, the medical cover, yes, yes, you know, you, what's this car doing? I know people talk about the medical cover as being an issue and having the insurance and stuff, but if you get a job, you're paying social security, you're entitled to the healthcare. Pay isn't great here, but then again, when you analyze what you actually pay in the UK, it's not as clear cut as you see. A lot of people choose to ignore the hidden figures. Um, let's give me, let's have an example. Most people have a car not because of leisure or um, for family use. It's normally for work. As such, you're being taxed on a vehicle not only for ownership, not only for road tax, not only for insurance. But also your fuel. So 
how many times are you taxed on a car alone? Because you're also taxed at source of your income. You're also having things like where they're looking at removing some of the rights to British nationals. They've paid in for the national insurance and everything already. They've already paid for the system. Which is, gets to the point where you say, you know what, I don't want to pay in for a national insurance, I don't want to pay in for a pension, I don't want to pay in for tax. I want to just get pay what I have to pay and the rest of it. I'd rather just not pay anything. I'd rather pay into a system that I use. But that, that gets to the point of what's wrong with the UK. It is carrying a burden of par parasites. There is too many unemployed that are unemployable. There is too many rich people that are living off the state, being MPs, being on quangos, being consultants at the top that are not only bad at what they do, but overpaid at what they do. That's what's wrong with the UK. I know I'm a bit political today, but it's why you see so much focus on immigration and everything else, because it's it's a deflection from the real problems in the UK, which are far, far deeper, but a lot of them are ones they don't want to deal with. They don't want to deal with the fact that there's a lot of illiteracy and stuff in the UK, because you'd have to admit that there's a lot of dumb population. But would also have to admit that a lot of MPs are skimming off the top like no tomorrow. And all the uh, back paying and the lobbying and how they end up on these boards after they quit as an MP. They'd have to show that the whole system is corrupt and it's not a uh, clear cut case of the UK's in dire straits financially because of immigrants, which is what it likes to say. Um, but the fact is, it's in dire straits because of a lot of lazy people and a lot of corrupt people. And um, added with that, this obsession with consumer lifestyles. Um, that's why I said, you know, a lot of people have gone to Spain and what have you. It's not as consumer driven. Most people live in very simple apartments and stuff, and the, the average cars around this area um, I'd say new cars, it's probably about 1 in 10. But in the UK you see so many cars that are on debt. Um, the scar car scrappage scheme wiped out a lot of people's financial ability to have their first car as well. Well done for Labour on that one. Um, I find Spain is less complicated and although it's got its corruption and its problems, most of them aren't affecting me, they're not impacting on my life, um, but also they're more obvious. You know, when you have a male jet, a mayor jailed for corruption here, they are at least mayor um, jailed. In the UK, what you get is an apology, and then they keep their pension, they keep their rights, and then they still retain where they sit. Um, even down to the paedophile stuff and the MPs. No real investigations, etc. Corruption, corruption, corruption. Give me Spain any day.